Howdy ho! How are you today? Those of you that are new, my name is Polly Hearn and I am a mindset coach, intuitive mindset coach. And the question I have for you today is how big do you set your goals? Before I started in this business, I probably set myself um, A or B type goals. Sometimes I dabbled in a C type goal, but not very often. An A type goal we class as something that you already know how to do, like you've already done it before. There's, um, you've got it like a plan of attack and you just, just know how to do it, know exactly what to do. A B type goal is something that you think you can do. If you do all the right things, if you follow a step-by-step -step process, you know you will get the results that you want. C type goal have no bloody idea. You are just wanting it because you can't stop thinking about it and you have no idea how to get it. Those of you that are just tuning in, say hi. Um, we, hey Claude, we are, I'm talking about goals, A, B or C type goals. When I work with people, I work with them on a C type goal. So a C type goal is something that scares and excites them they don't know how to reach it. However, they want it way more than what they've got in their life right now. And it's quite quite cool. I've got two of my sisters have come back on board at the moment and are setting goals again and going after some, some really big goals. Now, we know when we go after a really big goal that there's going to be challenges along the way. If there was no challenges, we wouldn't be growing we wouldn't be changing, things wouldn't be starting to fall into place. Now, I absolutely love going after goals. I, I love going after big C type goals and helping people do it as well. I have a group called Life by Design with Polly that a lot of people come into, they work with me, I run trainings in there and we really go after what we want not listening to anybody else, not listening to somebody else say, oh, I don't think that's right for you. Why can't you just be happy where you're at? That's way too big. I don't know how you're gonna do that, man. You live in a fantasy world. Oh my God, who do you think you are? What do you need all that money for anyway? Like they just come at me with all sorts of different things. And I've probably had lots of it over the last four or so years. I even had one person at one stage um, go around to the people that I was working with and, and coaching and give them books that would tell them that they're doing the wrong thing. It was quite funny. I've been told I'm in a cult, that I've started a cult. It's a bloody great one too, if you wanted to come along. Um, so yeah, I just wanted you to think about, do you set A-type goals, ones that you know how to do? And you've probably done them before. Like, I want you to think about this. How many people, or maybe this is you, you've gone on a diet before release some weight and then a few months later or a year later you're back to the same size or if not bigger because that's what normally happens because we beat ourselves up which makes us put on more weight you end up bigger or the same weight you were before you did it all and you wonder why and then you go and set the same goal and you do the same diet and halfway through you just lose interest in it there is no inspiration in going after something that you've already done because then it just becomes boring, we lose inspiration, we lose steam, and it's, it's just not the way that we're supposed to do things. We, hey Jules, hey Tammy, um, we are, we're infinite. There is nothing that you cannot do if you put your mind to it. Yes, and I know I'm, you're not gonna be able to fly, you're not gonna grow wings and stuff like that, I get that. But if you can put your mind to it, and you can see yourself with it and doing it or having it, you can do it. There is nothing stopping you except maybe some limiting beliefs and maybe listening to some people that don't know how to set C-type goals that will try and talk you out of it because all they're doing is telling you what they think is possible for them. And so if they're trying to hold you back, it's only because they can't believe in themselves, so don't listen. And if you want to start setting C-type goals, I am about to drop a big announcement in my group tomorrow. So if you pop in there, Life by Design with Polly, I might put in the comments in a minute. Um, come in there and see what we've got going on. 
Yeah, that's my bit of a Tuesday spiel. So put in the comments down below there. Are you an A type goal setter, a B type goal setter, or a C type goal setter? And if you're a C type goal setter, tell us some of the goals that you've you've manifested throughout along the way. Um, yeah, you can have anything, anything at all. I was just in with one of my sisters and she was telling the story of some things that she's um, been able to do along the way. My daughter's just had a great thing happen to her. A lot of my clients have just got things just tick, 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 and it's just, just so exciting. Just life is exciting when you're going after something that you have no clue how to get. And every day you wake up and you're like, oh, I wonder how it's gonna fall into place and if it's gonna happen today. Hey, Karina, hello, Joy. C, C, C. Now, remember, Joy, subconscious mind does not know the difference between what's real and imagined. You're not still to manifest them. Just say, it's already done. I've got it. You've got to come from the place that it's already done. Yes, sometimes that sounds a little bit out there, but that's okay. It's the only way. All right, that's my little spiel for you on a Tuesday. If you want to come to our group, let us know. We've got some great things going on in there and we love um, having new people come in. So I'll see you later. Bye-bye.